Right now, an elevator at Fenway Park shut down after a dangerous fall. Tonight, new details on a delicate rescue. Good evening, everyone. That woman injured after last night's game plunged two stories in an elevator shaft. She remains hospitalized tonight as investigators try to pinpoint exactly what happened. Meanwhile, fans are returning to the park at this hour. Right now, let's go live to our Liam Martin outside Fenway. Liam? Bob and Mary, it was right after last night's game. The woman outside of a fourth floor elevator here in the right field of Fenway Park when one of those doors suddenly opened. A 22 year old woman plummeted two stories down this Fenway Park elevator shaft. We estimated she had fallen, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 feet. At least one of the doors on the fourth floor elevator unexpectedly opened after the Sox game last night and she went tumbling down. The firefighters uh, went to the upper floors and were able to look down and see her. Um, you know, she was not moving. The victim fell all the way to the roof of the elevator on the second floor. Boston fire crews shut power off to the elevator. The first plan is to remove the victim through the hatch in the elevator. They accessed the second floor and went up through the hatch. The victim unconscious. We worked to get the woman um, into this. Uh, a uh, flexible stretcher, uh, strap her in and lower it down. The woman was transported out of Fenway Park in a matter of minutes and off to Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. An official told us she was last listed in critical condition. And the Red Sox released a statement about an hour ago saying that the woman did suffer serious injuries here. And they also say that the State Board of Elevator Regulators is the one investigating exactly what caused that elevator to suddenly open. Live at Fenway Park, I'm Liam Martin, WCVB News Center 5.